things I really love about Equid is the Equid Instant Site. When you create an Equid account, you get a site that's hosted at Equid and it's completely secure and everything you do inside of your Equid dashboard is reflected in your Instant Site. Your Instant Site address will be reflected here on the top left side of your dashboard. As you can see on the screen, mine is at mytrainingsite.company.site. And here's what it looks like, and you can see the URL up in the browser window. Well, it's actually pretty simple to change this to be whatever you want. And there are two kinds of URLs or web addresses that you can use here. I'm gonna click on website and scroll down to domain name and site address. Essentially, your domain name is the place that people find your content. So google.com is a domain name. If I click change address, I have two options here. I can change the name of my site to use one of Equid's subdomains. And there's a lot of reasons why you might wanna do that. Number one, you don't need to purchase a domain name. Number two, you don't pay for a security certificate. Equid provides that for you. And number three, you don't have to go through all of the hassle of creating your own space on the internet. You'll note that it's always going to be .company.site, but I can change the subdomain to be more reflective of my company or my store. So my training site was something I did because, well, this is a training site, but I can easily change that to Rod's training site and click save. And that's actually instant. If I click on Rod's training site.company.site, well, there's my store and it's exactly what I just defined it to be. And so now I can share that URL with the world. The second option here is to actually provide your own domain. And while your instant site is really amazing and is your full-fledged Equid store, having your store inside your own brand means that customers recognize you, trust you, and you're not sending them off to another location just to shop for your products. So let me walk that through for you. I'm gonna click change address again and in this case, I'm gonna delete the subdomain and I'm gonna put in my own domain here. Now, as soon as I click in there, I get some terrific help here from Equid. I'll enter the domain that I've set aside for my Equid store in this box. I'm gonna strongly suggest at this point, you take a look at the excellent help articles that are listed on the screen from the Equid Help Center. When you set up your domain name, Equid will present you with a unique IP address for your store. Copy it or make a note of it for a later step. And click Save. So my Instant Site URL is now pending. You'll want to go through this process of setting up the domain or subdomain well in advance. Give yourself 24 to 48 hours before you actually make this change. Equid will take about two hours to make your store available to the IP address on the screen. And while that's true, any changes you make when setting up your own domain can take up to 24 or even 48 hours. Keep that in mind when you're setting up your store. Now, before we dive into actually making the change, here are the steps you need to go through. Number one, you'll log into the account where your site's DNS is managed. The next step then is to go in and update the A record wherever your DNS or domain name service is being managed. Your web host, DNS, or domain provider will have detailed instructions in their help center that will guide you through the next step. So once again, I'm back over on my cPanel. I'm going to click Add an A record. This is where you'll enter in the domain or subdomain and then enter the IP address we talked about earlier. I'll add that record. Success message is done. And now I have to wait. It should not take very long at all since I already have the domain set up, but it could take up to 48 hours. Once Equid finishes pointing my instant site to that IP address, I get a new message that says the current address of my site is whatever I put in, in this case, store.demosandtips.com. This topic can at times be complex. So I'm going to encourage you to check out all of the help articles over at support.equid.com.